It wasn't the best forecast in the world, but it was the window we had, and we knew that we could uh, make it to the Delaware Bay, so we cast off. Well, we have escaped the grip of Block Island. Apparently, there was a huge fire at one of the hotels last night. We weren't aware of it until after we left. Um, but anyway, we're out here in the ocean uh, on a very, very... Uh, Close reach. No, actually, we're close haul. We're on a close haul. We're doing about six knots, maybe. Beating into about six foot waves. Got about 20 knots of breeze uh, from the north, uh, sorry, the west northwest. Yeah, well, it sure is sporty outside, but down here, it's like a little haven of peace. Occasionally, you can hear a wave slap against the hull. And I guess I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video that for this little passage, you're definitely going to have to hold fast. We've been underway for 35 hours. We've done 225 nautical miles. Our average speed has been 6.4 knots. We're currently heading almost due west towards Lewis, Delaware. It's an interesting passage. We had to uh, we had to sail close hauled the whole way, and uh, the expected uh, northerly component of the west wind uh, never arrived. We were beating into a southwest, west-southwest breeze uh, for most of the trip. And now the uh, wind has shifted to the southwest and we've turned, uh, we've tacked over onto port and we're headed into the Delaware Bay. Um, we'll get there. <laughs> it wasn't, certainly wasn't the rum line. Okay, well, after a 250 nautical mile passage from Block Island to Lewis, Delaware, we're now anchored behind the breakwater here. We're expecting some relatively strong northerlies to arrive late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And we have a decision to make whether we take advantage of those northerlies and head out tomorrow afternoon and make for the Chesapeake Bay, or whether we wait until Wednesday and just motor up the Delaware Bay um, either way, we need to get home. Got stuff to do. It's been a great trip so far. Maybe one more good sail, one more chance for you to hold fast. Okay, it's the next day, and we've decided that we're going to take this uh, northerly uh, system uh, for a sleigh ride down to the Chesapeake Bay. We'll be casting off here in about 30 minutes, heading out of the Delaware Bay into the Atlantic and heading south southwest. Should be a good ride.
Well, I've been underway for five hours, going 40 miles average. That's an easy one, that's easy math, eight knots. We're actually slowing down a little bit. We've um, gradually adjusted our course to the west and the wind has backed to the north. So we're on a very, very, very broad reach. The wind has dropped off a little bit as well. Hoping it'll pick back up. Um, but yeah, waves are right behind us, are pretty much behind us now, so it's uh, less rolly. We'll, we'll welcome that. The sun's going down. Uh, so far, been a fantastic passage, but you never know what's going to happen when you're sailing. You know, it doesn't stay perfect very long, I'm afraid. Uh, fingers crossed we can continue to enjoy a, a very pleasurable uh, passage down the East Coast from Cape Henlopen. Delaware Bay to Cape Henry, Cape Charles, uh, and then up the Chesapeake Bay back to home base. Good morning, sailors. Well, we had a great sail down the uh, coast. Uh, we jived over. Now we're on a starboard tack, and now we're heading to the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. All I can say is, have you had your tetanus shot? That's like something I would expect to see uh, in Africa. Well, we're leaving Cape Charles, and who knows, this might be the last leg of the trip. 98 miles to home base, uh, really strong, supposed to be strong, southerly breeze. We might do it all in one day, depending on how the weather evolves. Well, you gotta love the Chesapeake Bay because 30 minutes ago we had just about 30 knots right on the port quarter and now we've got seven knots, five knots, and we're just wallowing along. I have to turn the engine on here in a minute. Well, we're motor sailing now. The wind is dead behind us and it's not that strong. It may be 10, 12 knots dead behind us um, and we'd like to get home. We dropped the hook in Herring Bay and in the morning we motored in and tied up in the slip. We got back in time to attend the annual pirate party. And then it was time to get busy preparing the boat for our winter adventures. We repaired the boom, serviced all the winches. We added some solar. I finally got around to uh, purchasing and installing a Starlink. My buddy Chad helped me with the uh, rebuild of the bilge pump. 
You're killing me, man. Let me help you. Hold on. We replaced the old Pro Furl Stasel Furler with a Harkin Unit 4, and now we're all Harkin up on the foredeck. Also had a major engine service, replaced the turbo and the after cooler. So many thousands of dollars later, we're all set to sail south for the winter. So come aboard and get ready to hold fast.